Vasco from the Angular University. And in this lesson, we are going to learn what is this magic all about of template-driven forms. How does this work? We are also going to see some standard validators that come with the framework. So, coming right up. You might be wondering, how does this all work? Well, it's a testament to the power of Angular 2 forms and directives, the mechanisms that we have seen before. All the forms module is made with directives, basically. These are just plain Angular 2 directives. You could have written them yourself, but they come packaged for us already. There is a form level directive that is applied to the form element. So it has a selector which has form in it. And that's basically it. It's as simple as that. So there will be a form directive that keeps track of the validity of the whole form and which form fields, which form controls does the form have. Then whenever you apply ng model to an input, that will also create a directive that gets applied to that input element. And that directive will create a form control that will also register itself in the form directive. So remember, directives can intercommunicate via different mechanisms. Whenever you apply the required attribute, well, that's also a forms standard directive that gets applied to this element that will register a validation rule with the form control. But enough about the theory, let's see this in practice. So it's very simple. The same way that you have the required directive that gets applied to mark fields in mandatory, there are many other directives that allow us to do form field validation, such as minimum length, for example. Let's see how this works. If we specify a minimum length of 10 characters and we start typing on the field, the field will be read until the moment where we type at least 10 characters or more. Let's try another standard validator, the max length validator. So if we say max length 15, we start typing, it becomes valid, and now we cannot type anymore. So this directive mimics the standard behavior of the HTML5 max length validator. Let's try another standard validator. For example, let's say that the duration field can only have numeric characters. Let's use the pattern validator and we can pass it in a JavaScript regular expression that defines what are the acceptable characters for the field. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you can always subscribe to my channel for more upcoming Angular 2 tutorials. Also, have a look at the website of the Angular University to see what type of Angular 2 tutorials you find there that you might like. As you can see, you can only type numbers in this field as expected. Now that you know how template-driven forms work under the hood, you can understand that you can add your own validations to a form by creating a directive. We are going to see that in an upcoming course. Also, you know that this is just directives under the hood doing this functionality. This is very useful. You will see in the next lesson how can you use this to disable the form button until the whole form is valid. It's coming right up.